So today we want to continue with tutorial 26, or let me just check. So we are going to complete the delete method that we or delete function that we've been working on. Now we are going to solve the problem we, are, we had in the previous lesson about the delete uh, method. So before now, when we click on the delete button, it was showing the edit uh, uh, form. So the changes we are going to make at this point. Now the button has to be the ID has to be the lead button, not the name. The ID has to be the lead button. That is one thing. And secondly, we have this to be set. So more like more like I copy the H, uh, the anchor, uh, the, the reference for the edit, and put it for the delete and change the, to the delete. We, get, we have to make just one more change in the controller file. We need to go here. And just copy this. So instead of using delete mapping, we just use request mapping of delete of delete, and then we use request methods of delete. So the assumption is that when you want to make a delete, you first get this item using the ID, and then you delete it. All right. So. Um, we also should go down to the delete to the delete button huh? and we are going to change it to an anchor tag change it to an anchor tag and we need to change not the button type but the href equal to empty for now it's empty so when you click on the you click on the uh, the button on the table, it's going to show this form. And when you hit, click on the button, it's going to assign the HREF for this button. So, we now go to the main.js. So, the main.js now, when we have the table dot delete button, it's now going to select, the, it's now going to show the delete model. Before now, we use the name of the button to be deleted. Uh, button, but it actually should be the ID that should be the lead button. All right, so I'm going to take out this, but I use I was using it to troubleshoot, and then I'm going to uh, just go to copy the code from here. Just, so, so basically, this is what I just said. When you when you click on the on the on the yes delete. Then it's going to assign the href of of that confirmation button to the to to the URL, the URL to to the endpoint for delete and give it the ID and it's going to delete it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it uh, somewhere uh, here here. All right. So now. The ID of the confirmation button is called del rep. So let's go to change that. The ID of this button, I'm going to change the ID del rep. All right, good. So we are almost done with the delete button, except that I want to check on the page if you are missing out a thing. Mm, no, that's the application, I'll make sure it works. So I'm going to go around the application and let's test it out to see. So run the application. So take some time to get your head around it. If it gives you some tough time, let me know. Also try to copy the code and paste it uh, if, if you are having problem with the code you typed so that you'll be able to see if you have any error somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to go to the page and I'm going to refresh this page okay I'm going to click on delete so you can see do you want to delete yes so it deletes my name I'm, I'm going to add Edward Snowden and also delete him as well so at nine uh, hacking oh no 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 Edward Snow Snowden hacking updated by Kainson, me, and updated on this day. 
I'm going to add him. So have it was Snowden. You can see his record. I'm going to delete. Yes, delete. Edward Snowden has been deleted. So the delete is working perfectly now. Try to take some time to look at the code and get your head around it. And now we are moving on to the last one, second to the last actually, to display the logged in username using Timely. So let's see in the next lesson.